Talk Radio. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. This is Italo from Italo's Black Talk Radio. And this is the show I've been waiting for a long time because this is my show that I'm co producing with. Why am I sounding like Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I am very excited, obviously, and I already have a lot of people on the line, so this is going to be hello. go back to back. Uh-huh. Yes, hello, hello, hello. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> Anyways, this is the journey of the little prince, a sensory experience, and we have, who do we have on the line? Let me see. Let me start with uh, the director. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> This is Irina Kampas. Hello, hello. Irina Kampas Seb, on the yeah, line. Seb. She's not... Seb what? Brown. Yay. Hi. She actually, we, we already heard you, your voice earlier. Okay. You were the one that says, <laughs> Pitalo, Black Cook. Well, you do it better. Anyways. And then we have also the king, right? Yes, I'm here. Hello, everyone. This is France. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's the Hi, so we may Hello. Oh, my my Hi, Patricia and everybody. How y'all doing? We are all doing just fine. Lovely. I was talking about Pee Wee Herman earlier. I was like, I'm so excited. Anyway, so let's start the show. It's so just weird. There's so many voices there. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yes, yes, we're all. In virtual in virtual world, well, we're all together, right? So this is the journey of the little prince. I just want to give a little um, a little synopsis. So basically, the story of the little prince is one that has been uh, beloved for many years. This this story has been I read it when I was a kid. I, I forgot if it was I was probably eight or nine. And the story basically is by Antoine. I'm going to chop his name off because I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know French. But his name is Antoine de Saint Exupery. Um, or if somebody can pronounce it better, let me know later. Uh, but, anyways, he wrote this, uh, this, this novella in 1943. <clears throat> and then it was basically based on a little bit of autobiographical because he was a, a a pilot and he actually has had to crash land. And so that's in the story, but basically he meets this uh, little boy who comes from a different planet. Uh, and the name is little prince. And this, that's where the story begins. Right. But um, we actually have an expert on the little, on the little prince here because Irina Kampa has been, Studying this novella for how many how many months now? Oh uh, my gosh, let me think about it. Like maybe four. Right, but you read it before too. You read it when you were. A oh kid, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's too. Yes, it's just I I read it when I was a kid, and then I read it. Um, yeah, I read it the first time when I was a kid, and then uh, this second time I've read it I think even maybe in September and then I got back to it when I read it like four three consecutive times in January February something like that and I even listened to audio right so what prompted so you to yeah, for four months. what prompted you to do it because uh, well for those, those that don't know, obviously, uh, Irina, Irina and I met last year at the Hollywood French Festival. She was in my cast. She was playing the flying monkey. But this year, mm-hmm. she wanted to do The Little Prince because it's this this um, show called on to her for a very long time. And so I we 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 are partners now. We are co-producers. Uh, she's a she's a director and co-producer, and I'm a co-producer as well, and so that's how this started. But um, kind of let us know what inspired you to to put this in the theater. Uh, okay, so you mentioned before that this is a sensory experience, so I would like to start from that point. Um, I remember years ago I tried this. Um, 
Why it's called sensory experience? Because mainly the play is going to be in the dark. It's going to be some light, absolutely. But mainly in the dark, uh, a few years ago, I tried this restaurant in back in Russia, which was in the dark, and the food tasted differently. It's basically you develop your different senses. And so last year I've been thinking about, hmm, it would be cool to put a play in the dark so people can develop their senses, they can sharpen their senses, and they can really listen to the play and maybe open something for themselves. Um, so it's uh, if you close your eyes and somebody's going to read the book for you, so the information will literally go to your brain and your perspective is going to be different. But then I've been thinking about the story. It must be a very great story which can relate to all of us. And uh, the little prince, um, a friend of mine, reminded me about the story. And I thought, oh, my God, that's why that was reason I read it the second time uh, around September, October. And I thought, oh, yes. So um, uh, that's how the idea uh, basically was born to do first in the dark. And then it was supposed to be a great story. And the little prince, it's a great story because there are so many under layers and it's about that inner kid which all of us we have but the question is how many of us still remember about that kid and we let this kid out and how many of us forgot about that kid because we became so preoccupied with this hectic style of this life every single day so and it basically I want to reach all people's soul and old people to hear and to remember that they have all of us we have that kid inner kid so yeah basically that's how the idea was born <laughs> it's a long story right no actually you did a great job <laughs> um, oh thank you and actually you, you have you have <laughs> You had a quite quite a few uh, times to practice on office hours, so you're getting yeah, you're getting no, it exactly <laughs> under a minute. <laughs> it might have like, been, been on saying this office hours so many times. <laughs> <laughs> and so let me just uh, switch to uh, the story a little bit. Um, but I also want to talk to the king. But before I talk to the king, I also want to talk to the. Well, let me see who I want to talk to first. Uh, yeah, let me talk to Trent. Let me see what what else you think. Have you ever heard this story before, or was this the first time you ever heard it? How do you come about the story? Uh, this is the first time I've ever heard about the story. This um, it was brought up when uh, when we discussed it at the table, and uh, mm-hmm. it seemed very interesting because of the whole story being there's a child inside of all of us. We just tend to forget it. And uh, I took a liking to it for the, the reason that I, in my, my spare time, I, I do magic. And my whole goal in life is to bring people back to that childlike state of mind. And from right. reading the story and reading through the story and understanding the story, it just screams everything that i I wanted to scream to everybody else. So, yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard it, and I, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, Irina, I wanna, you want to tell them what he, what he's going to be in the show, what his role is in the show? Say it again. I want it to be a surprise. Do you want to let the audience know, the audience know what, he, what Trent is going to be doing in the show, or you want it to be a surprise? Ah, uh, you know what? I want to just say one thing: that trans will take mm-hmm. all audience to his kingdom, and he's going to command you to do something. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and I'm not going to mention anything. I don't want to spill the beans. I still want to, like, you know, keep it. Yes. Yeah, in a little not. secret. So yes, it's going to be a mystery, but that's for sure. So everyone is going to feel like they're in a kingdom and who knows maybe they will need to do something we'll see right right yeah. and also another another very important um thing to mention is that okay so this this show is not going to be we're not going to turn the lights off and then you're going to see nothing 
this is our, it's going to be a sensory experience. You're going to have your senses be awakened during the show, but we're not going to turn the lights off and then good luck, turn your light night visions on because it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be total darkness, but uh, we had, or Irina had the idea of having silhouettes um, and shadows and things like that. But in order to achieve that, we had, Seb, actually, he was working on the video that will be projected, and it will be amazing. It's already uh, well. You guys have seen it. I've seen it already, but you guys, you guys saw it yesterday, I think, in the in the tech rehearsal. Uh, and I think it's it's an amazing. It puts it puts you into the galaxy of the Little Prince in the universe of the Little Prince. So, let me tell. Let me uh, let me ask Seb about Little Prince. Yeah. What are you asking? Body <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the question what is... What is the question exactly? <laughs> yeah, what is the question? The question is, well, what do you what think about journey? The Little what Prince? What is your journey? Tell what is your journey oh, exactly? The Little Prince? Well, uh, well first off, like, when I got back <clears throat> from that, uh, which I wasn't going to do anymore, I was well, not anymore, but I was going to take a break from doing the, the show video. But I like the little prince. One, it's inspired. I like what it's saying. And, uh, and you know I like the inspiration. That's what most of my stuff is about. And uh, I like the idea of the whole silhouette and sensory idea. That she that she um come up with, and uh, I think it's going to be inspiring for those that hear it. Right. Yeah, right. he's actually doing. He's he's been working very hard <clears throat> into putting this uh, together. So that's just we're great. looking I for. Mean, yeah, huh? go ahead. Mm-hmm. I just want no, I just wanted to mention that you said before that. When you introduced Seb, uh, you said about that you saw this yesterday, and I've got this feeling that because, again, the main idea, I want to bring audience into the world, into the world of the galaxy and planets and in his journey, and I think that Seb great, uh, did a great job because even yesterday from what we had and we saw this for the first time, it, I got that feeling of being immersed into that world, yeah. actually. It was really great. Well, when, you were, mean, when you were um, first talking about it, um, I, us- that's what I usually pick up on it, like, mm, okay, I see. I see. I can already see it in my mind's eye. That's true. What, what I it's going to look like. The first meeting. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even the first meeting when we're sitting at the table. I think you were, Victor, no offense, no offense but I think Seb was the <laughs> one who, who got it right away immediately. He just saw my mm-hmm. vision. <laughs> Because I yeah. came up with the vision yeah. when I was listening to music, which actually all people, audience, will hear the music yeah. is going to be there as well. That's how the vision of planets came on my mind. And then when I tried to bring it on the table, so Seb was the first who immediately picked it up. So, mm-hmm. And the music is perfect for it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, I have, it in, I have it in my playlist. I listen to it maybe once a day or twice a day now. Uh, wow. Because it now, it's too. actually very, um, it's very, um, it's like meditation. It actually, it's good for meditation too, like if you want to meditate. Because some of, it's, it's some of the um, lyrics are there too, but it's very um, subtle. And so you can actually play this whenever you're working out, if you're meditating, if you're trying to go to sleep, it just puts you in the in the mindset of a galaxy in outer space and it's really cool. And by the way, I'm gonna be playing that song at the end. It's by Robo Robocosh. It's called Numb. We're gonna play that song at the end. But yeah, we have a lot of surprises for everybody who's gonna come. And by the way, I didn't mention <clears throat> we're gonna play we're gonna play. We're going to have the opening night on June the 8th, which is on a Saturday. Uh, the studio stage is where we're going to have it at. Uh, for those that are listening, the link will be below. We're going to have um, also uh, five shows in total. So it's going to be 
105, but we want you to come to the preview because we want you to see, we want you to be the first ones to see it. We want you to come and see it and also share on your social media. Uh, we want to, you want to, we want to, we want you to come and see it and then we want you to do something. I'm not going to say what it is because you have to see the show to understand it. But um, it has to do with you drawing have to listen something. To, you have to listen to it. You That's, have to see it. I want, yeah, you got to listen have, and see. But you have to see it in order to participate. <laughs> right. But the thing is, like, the uh, main idea that of the show, even as you said, you got to see it to understand. You got to listen to it to understand. I can mm-hmm. gu- can give you guarantee that when you leave the show, you will definitely going to think. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, it's very you know, thoughtful. It will change your perspective of this life completely because I bet that everyone is going to really kind of open something for themselves, maybe what they knew and they forgot about. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Because everybody <laughs> seemed to have forgetting their children. I let because my kid out many it's times. It's always great. It's always great to leave a show <laughs> and just think, oh, my gosh, that's right. That's exactly what, oh, my God. Like, it's, ta-da, revelation, revelation, not revelation, reveal, revelation. I have a question. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. Sure. <laughs> well, Who is okay. this? Don't sound I'm like sure. a grown up. Don't sound like a grown I'm up. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure, like, you've met some of those people. You're like, well, I, they don't like kids. And I've, I've met people like that. And I've always wondered, like, okay, you was a kid before. What is that part called? You know what I mean? So how can yeah. you what you want once was? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Have you guys experienced right. that before? Uh, I, I, I missed the last part. You said about, like, uh, we are all were kids and you've met people. I missed that part. Victor, can you repeat? Uh, I, I, for some reason, I have trouble hearing uh, Seb. Yeah, can clearly. you repeat the question? Well, okay. As you, you have those people that say that they don't like kids, right? Uh-huh. And have you ever experienced that? Like, have you ever wondered, like, how how could you not like kids when you once were that kid? You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they lose it. Some adults lose it. So I don't I don't like uh, bratty kids. If there are brats, I mm-hmm. have little tolerance for brats. But if they're innocent Whoa. and they're sweet and they're you know, curious, and they ask questions, and they're respectful, and they're not kicking the chair, and, you know. <laughs> I, you know what's I, funny I about know. kids? <laughs> what's funny about kids, they believe. They believe in the world they live, and I think the kid's perspective is so open and bright, and mm-hmm. that's why maybe even some adults, because they became so adult, because they always say, oh my God, I'm a serious person, i got to live in this reality. But people always forget about that reality is what we create. No matter how old mm-hmm. you are, you can be a kid, because kids create their reality, and they live in this, and they're happy. And when we become adults, when we grow up, we for some reason change this reality, and we make it more dark, I think. And that's why we think that kids, oh my gosh, I get so irritated by. But kids, they believe in everything. And they can they can pass they can pass the table with French fries and somebody sitting they can just take the French fries. They don't care what the people think. They that's why they're so happy. And adults when we grow up we become so concerned about society, about different opinions and we become so dependent on people's opinion of society and maybe we think that's the reason why they look at kids like, Oh my gosh, they don't care because how come but that's exactly how we must be. We must live and be happy and do not care about others' opinion. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because we are creators, so I think, yeah. Maybe some adults miss that and they want that back. Think about when you become an adult, um, unnecessary worries start to uh, manifest. You know, you start worrying about bills, all of that stuff, and then you worry about what people think of you, all of that extra stuff that that's just nonsense. Versus when we were kids, we really didn't even care until we got into, like, our teenage years or whatever. Yeah. See what I mean? And then yeah. we have it. Yeah. 
And then we're so open and creative. I mean, think about like when you were a kid, how creative you were. Yeah. And we were not afraid. We weren't scared. We just had this, and we went towards it. We just went forward, and we're so risky mm-hmm. because we didn't care because we knew who we were. And then when we grew up, we just lost ourselves. Mm-hmm. I think it's still yeah. there. Yes, somebody else. I think. I think it's still there, but I think some people get afraid to show it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Maybe that's why they become yeah. so mean towards real kids because yeah. they know that they have that and they're afraid. <laughs> now think about like all of you, like when we're totally like being ourselves, and you know somebody questioning you, why do you do that? Why do you do that? You know, and I think I'm just being me. Can I just be me? And I'll allow you to be you. You see what I mean? That whole thing. And as children, we did that. Like, there was no, um, what do you call it? There was no corruption. It was all pure. Yeah. And I, and I hope exactly. Little Prince bring that out. I really do. I feel like the Prince, the, the, oh, wait. parts of the Prince will go through just about every aspect of the adult life or, quote, unquote, the Personality. adult life that we worry about now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think that that will be the latching point for a lot of the adults who have that feeling like you were you were speaking on Seth about wanting mm-hmm. to be a kid again. So I feel like mm-hmm. a lot of us have that feeling with these unnecessary things we concern ourselves about that we want to have the time back where we don't have responsibilities and we can accept that we can uh, embrace those times instead of taking it for granted like we used to as a kid. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly right because that's what yes, that's what Prince goes through because when he meets those characters we can call them differently. And I've been speculating for a long time trying to understand who those characters are and then it's like as Victor mentioned before that it's the part of this uh based on um a real experience of the author and it's part of it that trans set right now, those characters are personalities of an adult. <laughs> That's how we go step by step on who we become. That's uh, why Prince eventually felt sad and so uncomfortable when the first time he already mentioned that he wants to go back. I, I don't know what it means, but I mean, still, it's in, even in the book. Because, ah, something's out. Something's wrong because you miss that kid, which is in uh-huh. there. And it makes you understand that I, phrase where where you say uh, it's lonely without people, but then it's lonely with people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It makes you understand. It's, it's like, wow, I, you subject. get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just so, just, just so you guys know, um, we actually have to clap our hands. We have to clap our hands. We have to clap Ooh, our hands yeah, because yeah, we have right, somebody right, else right. coming. Can you yeah. hear me? Woo. Yes, we can hear you. You just literally. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm on live. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. yes we can hear you. Hi, it's Patricia Nizan. How are you? This is the vein. Hi, Woman's Patricia Nizan. Clap your hands. Oh my We're gosh, clapping. my phone. Oh, forgive me hands. for being late, but clap your hands. You my don't. Phone was dead. Dead. You don't <laughs> <have it. laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm so Thank happy you. to be live with you all. Thank you so much. Well, happy for those that don't know, I'm sorry, go ahead. Trent. Happy to have you. I said, happy to have you. That's what Trent Thank has you. Oh. Thank you so much, guys. I've been listening. Well, Irina, you want to tell. You want to tell what Patricia is doing too, or you want to leave it at? Yes, I want to tell part of it, but I don't want to spill the beans, as I mentioned before with the king. What? So, Patricia, um, her character is going to be the main character, is uh, Rain Woman. And um, all I can say is that this lady has a huge, huge head, <laughs> which she needs to watch. And she definitely, all of you be ready, all audience, please be ready to clap your hands and just all you have to do, just admire her, no matter what she says. Just don't get her upset. <laughs> because I'm otherwise... Okay. What? 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 <laughs> what was that? Somebody tried to Sorry about what happened. <laughs> Sounds like you were oh, working yeah. out, uh, trans or something. Sounds like you're like running. 
Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm running errands, so I'm, I'm trying okay. to mute uh, whenever I, I'm doing so something uh, to not related to the podcast. Well, I mean, this, can I say a, a two cents? You cannot. You cannot say anything because we cannot spill the beans. Oh, let me I know. I command you to speak. I command her to speak. <laughs> I command her to speak. Well, you know, all the characters. You say more than about your character because we don't want to spill the beans. I got you. Totally. And I just want to say all the characters are very interesting and very creative. And, you know, people can see some characteristics within themselves in these characters. I mean, come on. We're all humans, right? So that's the beauty mm-hmm. of the little prince is that it will bring you back in and hone you back into your childlike state where everything was just, you know, so Lovely. amazing. And, 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 and mm-hmm. you know, you do stop and smell the, the roses. And when you're a child, everything is so different in, in, in your eyes, right? I mean, you, you remember when you were a kid. I mean, everything was just so mm-hmm. time seemed like it was a long time and everything was just so much more. And when we grow and, and we're grown up, we're so busy. And it's just so true. We yeah. don't stop and sometimes smell the roses like we should. And this is just a reminder that it's important that we keep our childlike soul, you know, to help us just mm-hmm. enjoy life and 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 enjoy every moment and not overlook anything, you know. Right. That's I know how you enjoy actually, life. Lately, <laughs> what? Uh, lately, what? actually, I'm noticing. Oh, go ahead, Seth. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. No, I said I know how you enjoy life. <laughs> You know y'all supposed to say how. How? 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 Stay, how? Stay, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Don't worry about the in future. The and look around. Mm-hmm. Look around. Look around. And clap your hands. Well, clap your hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing because that that part is hilarious in the in the show. Anyways, uh, I do actually uh, having having experience in things since we started doing the rehearsals. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's it's actually I'm noticing the roses everywhere, and it's not only because mm. it's spring, but also because it it you know the prince has the rose and I won't spoil the beans, Irina, but I notice in I know different you know, roses but knows along the way what the rose is. Ooh, right. I, oh, exactly. I can't so say it on the air. That, Sorry. Please. Don't say that. <laughs> way. Because for everyone, the rose is going to be made of something, but the rose <laughs> is somebody as well. But don't spill that. <laughs> You're ready to spill it. Right. right. Totally fine. I have a, I have an idea, but I'll tell you when we off the air. <laughs> you okay. need everyone right now. Good job. <laughs> well, now you have to yeah, tell us. No, you could You can't give it away. Well, I just want to say, whoever's listening, I'm telling you, you've got to see this. You've got to see this play. If you haven't read the book, right. you know, that's okay. That's you don't matter. read it and then come out. <laughs> don't read you know, <laughs> you don't have to read it. Save, you know, just come out and enjoy and bring your kids and bring your your neighbor's kids and, you know, let them also enjoy – the creativity your, of all of this. It's so, so and good. And bring your so energy well in. It's so you can't well forget the energy. Huh? You can't forget bring your the energy. Your inner child. Say what? Oh, the inner bring child. Your inner yeah, bring your yeah. inner child. Absolutely. I mean, it's so well right. done. It's the sensory. It's different and unique. And there's no other play like it. You know, you're using your sensory experience. It's about listening. A lot of listening. Because there's silhouettes in here. Oh, well, can I say that? <laughs> we, we already did before. That's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, just you know what that's what happens when you're late. That's what happens when you're late. Clap your hands. <laughs> Victor, Victor, I wanted to get back to the point when you said about that you stopped and you really noticed roses around oh, yeah. you, right? It's not, yeah. And, you know, I wanted to get back to this, and I wanted to say maybe it also happened because 
you started noticing things around you. You know what I mean? Right. Mm, exactly. Like kids. Kids always yeah. pay attention to everything around them. And maybe that even, uh, as you said, since we started rehearsals, you started noticing roses, but maybe you started just noticing things around you which you didn't notice before. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm noticing, for instance, uh, the migration of the butterflies. I was the first one to spot it, and then I was I was driving these people, you know, in my left, uh, right, and I was like, oh, don't you guys, don't you guys see the the butterflies? And they were all on their phone, so nobody mm. paid attention. The and they phone. looked up from their oh. phones, and they were like, where? I'm like, they're everywhere. Mm. Don't you see the butterflies? They're back ready. Look at them. And they yeah. were like, they noticed that because they were on their phone. Right. Yeah, that's like some. Some right. people I met didn't even know that uh, that there were hummingbirds here. <laughs> it's wow. hummingbirds in town. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But oh yeah, I mean, I tell you, you know, because it also happens when you when you go to a new place or move to a new place. When I first moved here, I was paying attention to everything. Right. <laughs> and then I, I noticed that a lot of people didn't pay attention to what I was paying attention to. Mm-hmm. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. Somebody was gonna say something. Oh, yeah, and no, and actually, that's that's the point of the of the whole story because as, as we're not gonna spill the beans, but yeah, throughout no. the, oh, the story, no. you will, you will. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil anything. How's that? I'm just gonna yeah. <laughs> let you guys come see it. Let's just go on the show right now for 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, but I, I do want to stress that uh, bring your family, like like uh, Patricia said, because we we put in the, the age limit to be <clears throat> to be 15 and up. But I I actually believe that this can actually work with uh, middle middle school kids too, like uh, yeah, 10 year olds, 11 year olds, because uh, we 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 have a different generation. We are a different generation as like, than the new millennials or even the newer uh, kids that are that are they're very smart and they're very you know very um, yeah they're very not only you know, that, aware of things. That, not only that, that would be like a that would be like a good experiment. Like the kid may notice something that adults didn't notice. Yeah, that's you know, what I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Having those different age uh, age ranges mm-hmm. to kind of fill us in as adults now on what they're thinking as a, as a child. It it will be interesting, kind of to just hear what the perspective is from everybody's point of view. Mhm. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's just so creative, and I, I Irina and um um. Victor did a really, oh, really, and Seth did a really, really great job in 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 using a lot of visual effects. I agree. Um, Thank you. I mean, it's just very different and creative, and you're not going to see anything like it. You know, it's really cool. And then for us actors, Trance and I, we get to play different characters, which is amazing. You know, we love that as mm-hmm. actors. I think that's phenomenal when actors do that, when they can play like different people in the same in the same show. Uh huh. You can yeah. have to switch up your mood and all that. I think that's phenomenal. That's talent. Me, I'd probably be stuck on one person. <laughs> well, I'm not. The, I'm not the king. I'm the king. Oh. oh. <laughs> Right. Well, actually, that's, also, so, that, that's interesting that you bring that up, Seth, because that's another kind of throwback to being a kid again, because kids can have these personalities in their heads, like tons of them, because the imagination is limitless. But mm, you yeah. saying that also brings that adult mentality where it's like, I can only focus on one thing now. And it shows mm. how much tunnel vision we have as adults now. Right. Mm, yeah. That right. Makes sense. Yeah. Right, right. See, but when we were kids, the adults was trying to knock it out of us. Right. I mean, right. some some parents would just look at you and and you'd stop cutting up, you know, just with that glance. It's like, uh... yeah. mm-hmm. 
Right. Like, right. We know that, Glenn. You need to straighten your crap up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. when you are away and you're with your friends, you can pretend and be who you want to be, you know? Exactly. And it was just so great. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, having a childhood is just so important. And I just feel for those children who don't have that opportunity to be a child, you know, because of wherever they're located right. or what they're doing and, you know, every the situation. And, and, and I just... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're truly um, just, you know, grateful to have that experience, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. But actually, I, I, I'm I noticing um, being in the audience, you know, like um, Friday and throughout the rehearsals, I've been sitting in the audience and I've been, I've been looking at, at all three of you being children and being playful and being mm. so fun and yeah. just... Uh, unapologetic and you're just being fun and you're not being judgmental. Uh, even when I had to cut, <laughs> cut some of you off and I'm like, well, hold on the line is this. So you still <laughs> allow, you know, the kid to be playful and you allow it to, to transcend to the show. And so when I saw it on Friday and then I don't know why Friday was really, really the first time I saw the whole thing come together. Um, I was crying. I don't know about you guys, but I was crying because so, when I saw Victor, that thing at the end that I'm not going to say, I'm like, okay, this is great, great. It's already, I can already see it. It's happening. So, Victor, yeah. are you saying right now that this was your first time when you actually paid attention to the play? No. <laughs> so all this time, all these rehearsals, no, no. you didn't give up. <laughs> well, the, was, well, the, the, was... the more it comes together, the more you start to see it. <laughs> Yeah. I, I know, I'm just teasing you. But you know what I want to say just really quickly about this point about the rehearsals? I swear, every time, no matter how tired we are, I am, we all, every time when we come to this rehearsal, when I personally come to this rehearsal, magic happens. Your victim was absolutely right because that kid jumps out and he does magic. Yeah. And then after the rehearsal, I feel like, I don't know, I feel 100% even high energy as I do have, and it's just magic happened. And it, uh, these rehearsals, these rehearsals are time. It's time for me where I forget about this reality out there because I live in this world, and this world is just tremendous of being kid. And it helped me actually when I go out of the doors of the theater to look at the world differently by every single rehearsal. Yeah. 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 I agree. It's awesome. Well, Well, it is your world. It's already, it's almost 40 minutes, guys. I have to wrap it up because we have the song. I know. Look at us. We are gregarious people. (laughs) We have to have another part two, but... <laughs> Thank yeah, you everybody for calling. Yeah. Irina, you're you're a great director. I I will Thank say you. this on the air. I'll I'll take my hats hats off. You you did you're doing a great job. And yeah. I I yeah. I give you that title, please. Uh take it and your crown and your tiara. <laughs> uh, wear it because you're showing us you're showing us all that you can do you can do you can make things come true. And that's what you've done with the show. And uh, I hope this will be a success. I know it will be a success because I've already seen it. And so just wanted to say that. And I'm Wow, guys, thank you so much. Without you, oh, stop it. Stop it. I'm going to cry too. Let's just cry. (laughs) All of us. I want to say, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because without, yes. I said, I'm. I remember you talking about this uh, back in the day, and I'm proud that you stepped up and said, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You. you took something, that a vision you had when it was not even on paper, and you mm-hmm. you transport, transposed the whole book. And in and, and yeah. trans, who does that? Like, you're now it's a really playwright. And I'm a visionary. First time direct, first time. The yeah. bravery and just 
you know what? No fear. And I truly admire you and people like you who have no fear. You have a vision and you make it happen. And no, it I'm going to cry. Inspiring <laughs> for all of us. Thank you. And whoever's listening to, like, it doesn't matter. Just do your dream do and what you love and your vision, and you will surround yourself with people who care and support you, support you, and have the same vision. And I'm telling you, what magic will happen for sure. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Meaning it won't happen until you move. That's well, right. guys, mm-hmm. honestly, thank you so much because uh, without you, I wouldn't make it. Thank you for your support because you are the uh, main part of it. And I really appreciate that you were with me from the very beginning and you supported mm-hmm. me. You actually motivated me and you pushed. So I, I'm i very, very appreciative and you are very valuable for me. And again, without you. you, it wouldn't it wouldn't happen. Thank you. Aww. And I do want to say, Victor, too, I mean, you are also such an integral part with the, you know, the slides and the, the, the behind the scenes stuff, like all the technology that you, you're you doing and Seb as well. I mean, it's amazing. It's Seb, amazing. Yeah. Seb, I'm just, yeah. I'm just bringing what Seb is already created. So, yeah, it, it takes a whole team. It, it takes a village to do yeah. this. So uh, that's, yeah. uh, that's what's happening. But I do have to uh, say goodbye, guys. This is all for oh, yeah. Thank you for calling. Because <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having Bye. us. Once thank again, you. Thank, thank you, you for, for calling, guys. Us. And also, yeah. please do like the page. Like the Facebook page. Because if you don't like the Facebook page, I am not going to come see your show. How's that? So you do <laughs> like, like your page. <laughs> Uh, yeah, That's I would talk to you in the street. I'd be like, you don't like my page, so goodbye. No, <laughs> That's very adult. No, but uh, very adult like. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very sharp sense yeah. of humor. We're going to come to you. <laughs> well, I'll be playing this song that, that will be playing throughout the, uh, the, the different scenes that we have in The Little Prince, The Journey of the Little Prince, which, again, will be at the studio stage. Please uh, go to HollywoodFrench.org. Project number is six thousand. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be everything you heard and more. So here I take you with numb. Mm-hmm. 